So how do we perform CT colonography? Yes, you still have to take that uh, laxative or cathartic. Um, you're not going to get away with that, not now, um, but maybe in the future. But currently, the standard is still you have to undergo colonic cleansing. And you have two different um, preparations that you can take. I think most of you have had the colonoscopy, so you probably had to drink that very large jug of uh, golightly or colite as a polyethylene glycol laxative. Um, for CTC, you can also undergo that uh, large volume polyethylene glycol uh, cleansing agent, or you can take what we call a dry prep, which is actually easier, uh, smaller volume, and um, we have found for CTC works quite, quite well, just as well as the wet prep. Um, and in fact, we don't like using the wet prep as much for CT colonography because it leaves behind too much residual fluid, which on the CT scan can hide or obscure the uh, polyps. Now we also, when, when uh, the patient comes in to uh, the uh, CT scanner suite, we place them on the table. We do have to place a small tube into the bottommost portion of the colon, the rectum, um, and we have to insufflate or distend the colon so that we can actually look for these polyps. And the way that we uh, are able to obtain the insufflation is using this carbon dioxide insufflator. This is a mechanical device that uh, senses the pressure within the colon, and once it falls below a certain pressure, preset pressure, it will start installation of carbon dioxide, and this helps us to maintain uh, adequate distension of the colon. This is just an example. Here's the patient lying uh, on their back in the supine position. This is that electronic device uh, to insufflate the colon with. Uh, here's our technologist, and this is the CT uh, uh, scanner and the gantry. Patients scan twice, so first lying on their back and then turning onto their belly. Uh, and on the belly, we do uh, 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 support the trunk, and we will place uh, pillows underneath the chest and a wedge uh, underneath the uh, upper thighs, and this will take the trunk off of the ta table so that we can achieve better distension. And again, the scan time in each of these positions is very, very quick. Uh, using a multi-detector CT scanner is less than 10 seconds.